Yellow. Hey man, just got off the phone with the bank. Did you steal my credit card? That depends on what you mean by steal. Looks like you bought a lot of jet skis. That's a shame. Should've had Express VPN. What? Let me explain this to you like you're five. Explain it like I'm 34. You see, Justin, without a VPN, your data is like a letter to your pen pal. I don't have a pen pal. Good thing, because if you sent one a letter, a bunch of strangers could read it before it gets there. Let me guess, ExpressVPN encrypts my data so hackers like you can't steal my stuff. And it's easy to use, too. Just open it up and click to connect. I have no idea why I didn't do this before. Apparently I just unlocked a whole bunch of new stuff on Netflix. I'm a huge Doctor Who fan, but it's not available in my area. But with ExpressVPN, it's delivered right to my eyes. You know, you could have just told me about ExpressVPN before stealing my data. Yeah, I could have done that. Make sure your internet data is protected. To find out how you can get three months free, click the link in the description box below at expressvpn.com slash manshorts. And now, back to the show. Man Shorts. So I know not everybody's familiar with anime, but I'm sure you've pulled some characters together. Yeah, I was a little bit lost, but I heard there was a ton of sports anime out there, so I made a volleyball player. Hmm. I named him Wilson. Of course it is. I also wrote out some anime vocabulary that I found on a shonen webpage. Oh, this should be good. Sarah, how about you? The giant robot stuff is kind of cool, so I'm going to make a mech pilot. She's kind of depressed and standoffish. I couldn't decide on a name, so I'm going to call her protagonist. Did you just copy a Gundam Wing character? Of course not. Hmm. What's her outfit look like? A tank top and bike shorts. Right. If it makes you feel any better, my character just learned about mechs today. That makes me feel worse. Chaz, what kind of nightmare did you create? My character's name is Sakura. She's just a regular middle school girl who's preparing for her high school entrance exams. Dude, what's with the slice of life crap? I told everyone we were doing a tournament arc. You can't stick some normal teenage girl into a sitch- Wait, does she have an animal companion? You mean like a pet? I guess she would have like a cat. What about an emotionally vulnerable friend who would do anything for her that she feels compelled to protect? Probably. Mysterious boy she's enamored with? Actually, yes. You sly dog, you almost got me. I see where you're going with this. I'm not going anywhere with this. Sure you're not. So, like I said, you find yourselves at the World Fighting Tournament. There's hundreds of competitors from around the world trying to prove their superiority. You're all in separate brackets. Roll percentage to see who you're going to fight. 97. 24. 36. All right, Lance, you'll be fighting Wu Fei, Master of Martial Arts. As you enter the ring, you see him performing a series of spectacular kung fu moves. He stops as you approach. Hey, man. Uh, just wanted to wish you the best of luck. My name's... He interrupts you. I am Wu Fei of the Southern Temples. I am here to seek out the ones who destroyed my temple and bring them to justice. Make a wisdom save for me. Uh, 12. He continues to drone on for about five minutes. As you begin to fall asleep from boredom, you hear him say some stuff about restoring honor and good and evil. You know, normal stuff. Last thing you hear is the referee say, begin. Roll initiative with disadvantage. Oh, that sucks. Uh, 15 and 7. Wu Fei goes first. He moves towards you with blinding speed and delivers a lightning fast flurry of blows to your midsection. What's your AC? Uh, I'm wearing gym shorts. Yeah. Take 37 damage. You're up. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna do a jutsu. I'm pretty sure you don't have one of those. Well, then I'm going to do a bankai. No. Uh, uh fighting spirit? Ugh, close enough. You feel power surge throughout your body. Every muscle bulges and the world seems to slow down around you. Serious business! You get a plus six bonus to strength and dexterity. Wu Fei jumps back, somewhat surprised, and begins charging a key beam. He's looking to finish you with one last blow. Uh, I'm gonna use my ultimate move. Ultra Demon Serve! And shoot a volleyball right at his dumb face. 18 plus my bonuses is 30. Nice. Wu Fei fires a beam of blue energy as you blast this ball towards his face. The sheer force and velocity of your serve cuts through his beam and crashes into his face, sending him flying. He's out cold. Game. Set. Match. Sarah, your opponent comes lumbering into the ring, a mass of muscle and fury. Grappler Rocky. Or Rocky the Grappler. And you gave me grief for making a lazy character? Touché. 
The ref calls start. Roll initiative. 16. Rocky goes first. He rushes you and tries for a suplex. Roll a strength check. 12. He succeeds. As he throws you, he tries to intimidate you. You could never match my power. Give me an opposed roll. Nat 20. I'm going to intimidate back. I coolly turn to him and say, I'll kill you. Of course you do. Taken aback by your calm, detached response, he is unable to take his turn. You're up. I'm going to hit him with rocket fist. I assume you announce that move before you do it? (laughs) Duh. 19. The fist of your mech blasts through the air, hitting Rocky directly in the chest, sending him sprawling to the dirt. I am Gundam. I knew it! Worth it. I wasn't prepared for such a trope-heavy game. I was. Jess, your opponent is a young girl with a backwards baseball cap and a deck of cards. Uh, Nani? What? Don't you think that's a little weak, considering our opponents? No. As she enters the ring, Ash Rosehart points at you and says, I'm gonna win this match! Believe it! What do you want to do? I fall prone and all of the contents of my bag fly everywhere. Dude, aren't you gonna transform? What do you mean? You know, wave a stick around, say something about friendship, change clothes over a starlight background. I'm a teenage girl, so I'm not going to be changing my clothes in front of an arena full of people. That's gross. It's also not what I meant. Fine. Ash uses the power of the cards to summon 12 celestial spirits who all fire bolts of light at you. Make a dexterity save. Nat 20. As the bolts arc towards you, the contents of your bag are still hanging in the air. One of these, a pocket mirror, redirects the light back towards Ash, sending her flying. You could even say she's blasting off again! Ting! Any other cliches you got over there, Otaku? Fine, so I cribbed some characters from existing stories, but so did you guys. DMing is hard. Yes, yeah, finally. See, it's not that easy. You can't just throw a bunch of tropes together and expect it to be good. Okay, then why don't you try running this edition? I think I will. D and D swag, twenty D twenties in my dice bag. I chase gold till I catch it. Price tag is that white flag from the DM. Wouldn't want it in them when I'm in. Did the max for the win? D and D swag, twenty twenties in my dice bag. I chase gold till I catch it. Price tag is that white flag from the DM. Let the betting begin when I'm in. Did the max. Y'all can find me at the table ready and able to role play. OP, I'ma be power gaming the whole way. Apex predator patrolling for prey. Components and material. I just read what the scroll say. Olay, fast track to the boss lair. How many people I gotta be telling I got them up in my crosshairs?